Hello and welcome, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening. Welcome, y'all. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Are you ready? Are you ready for today's class? Yes? Yes, I'm ready. That's good. It's nice to have you all, and I wish you the best. I hope all of you get home safe, right? And I wish you the best. As you may know, the weekend is ready. We can fill it, right? Yeah. So uh, we're going to finish today with our section number three. This is class number eight. And we're going to have model verse, would and will for request. Yesterday, we were working a little bit on this one. And today, and today we're going to get deep into uh this uh, thing okay so we're gonna have more practice yes on this um let's say content which is somehow it's somehow easy but sometimes uh, we get confused when we use them right remember that we're working with information about restrooms right vocabulary that goes with restrooms like food uh we order it drinks and the phrases that we use in a in a restaurant so uh, we're gonna work on that one a little bit more on today's class okay so one more time thank you so much for being here and let's let's begin okay the first thing that we're gonna have is this picture do me a favor um oscar hello oscar good good evening nice to have you do me a favor look at the picture and describe it yep Okay, uh, the couple are in a restaurant. Uh, the, the waiters. Oh, the waiter. This is the waiter. Uh -huh. Very good. The waiter is serving the food. The that meal. is good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. How do they look like? Yeah. I'm, uh, in an expensive restaurant. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, right. It's, it looks expensive. Yeah, it looks like like 20, like maybe $40, right? That's yeah. that's like three days of work or two days of work, right? <laughs> <laughs> How often do you go out and eat in a restaurant, uh, Oscar? Uh, maybe once a week. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, uh, but... Another kind of restaurant. Oh, <laughs> la, just la pupusería, right? Just la pupusería. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, I don't, I don't, maybe uh, <laughs> Wendy's, you know. Oh, uh, Wendy's is expensive. Now, yeah. Yeah, it's like like $25. Yeah, yeah but, but you can use uh, a coupon. So. Oh, that is true. That is true. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you can get a discount. And that is true. Yeah. yeah. Or, or sometimes yeah. you can have little Caesar, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can eat on the street. <laughs> always five dollars. Yeah, always <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, so we're gonna keep working with information about restaurants. Yesterday we were working a little bit on the content. I will play one more time the video so you can, uh, let's say remember and 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 practice a little bit more on this one. So let's listen. And watch, please. Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they are being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. 
contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Nice. Let's begin on this one. We're going to try to learn how do we use this one. We're going to have Sebastiana. Do me a favor, please, Sebastiana, and explain what do you understand about would and will for request, please. Mm. For me, would is okay, um more polite, and will is more specific or more direct in a sentences or in a question. Thank you so much. Very good, Marvin. What else can you say about this information about would and will for requests? Well, I understand we use will in the beginning about any question. And will we use, for example, in about the answer? Thank you so much. Very good. And let me see. Catherine Suleyma, what else can you tell us about would and will for requests? Is Catherine Zuleima Poca Sangre? Hello, Catherine. Can you participate? Yes or no? Okay, Francisco, no problem. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Yes, teacher. Tell me, what do you understand about the, the moral verbs would and will for requests? Eh, lo que yo prefiero. Por ejemplo, en el first one, what would you like? Uh -huh. eh, lo, ¿Qué es lo que tú quieres? O, ah, sí, ¿verdad? Ok, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. What, what else do you understand? ¿Qué más entiende usted? Um, the, the answers. I like the veggie burger is you uh, la hamburguesa vegetariana mm -hmm. and I'll have a mango salad is es voy a pedir o voy a querer la ensalada de mango porque ese I will <laughs> Okay 
Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Yes, yeah, so both of them we use it with requests. Estos son los requests, right? Estos here. Okay. ¿Qué es un request? What is a request? Catherine Nicole Salazar. What is a request? Un pedido. Exactly, right? It's just solicitar algo. That is a request. What you, so you, you, you request something. Very good. Entonces, we have two ways. Una que es with would y otra que es with will. Yes, would, vamos a utilizarlo siempre con el verbo like. I'd like the BG burger. And uh, will, we're going to use it with have. Yes, en la mayoría de la cuestión, cuando pues somos educados, right? Como está diciendo your partner, siempre vamos a ocupar what would you like para ofrecer, let's say, the products. Yeah. What kind of soup would you like? What would you like to drink? Would you like anything else? Utilizamos would and like was because uh, así vamos a estructurarlo on, on this one, right? And all this thing is about food. Ordering food in a restaurant, right? Ordering food in a restaurant. Requesting something related to food. So everything that we have here is about requesting. But what are you requesting? Food. Okay. En otro contexto podemos hacer un request de otra cosa, right? Puede ser whatever we want. Otro escenario, otro example. But here estamos con food. Yes. So that's re that's why we have the instruction. Okay, Roberto Carlos, thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so in this context, that's why we have it like that. Okay. Any question about this? No question? Everything is awesome. Oh, yeah. Very good. Let's have a little bit of practice on uh, this one. Give me a minute so we can have it ready. Yeah. Page 89. Next. Okay. Use one or more words to complete this conversation between a server and a customer. Okay. So the server says, may I tell you order? And the customer says, yes, I'll have the salmon. Then we have the server. Then we have the server. What kind of dressing on your salad? French, blue cheese, or vinaigrette? What is the expression that I need here? Any idea? Hello, teacher. Hello, Anna. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello? Okay, so we have wood, that is correct. What else? Solo wood? Would like. Okay, would you like? Would you like? Yes. Would you like? What kind of dressing would you like on your salad? French, blue cheese, cheese or vinaigrette. What is dressing? What is a dressing? If you see here, we have a dressing. What is this thing? Any idea? What is a dressing? Sebastiana? Put something on, on, the, on the salad. Exactly right. How do you call that in Spanish? With It begins with A, apple. Aderezo. Oh, yes, that is correct. Aderezos, right? So we have this kind of, let's say, sausages. In, I'm sorry, not sausages, sauce. Oops, sauce, okay. Very good. And what is the answer with the customer? I would like, I would. Okay, remember that when we when we answer, we say I'd. I'd. I'd, 
I'd like French fries. I'm sorry, French, please. Very good. Number, then we have the next one, the server. It says, and would you like... What's the vocabulary that goes with drink? Do you remember? It begins with S. And would you like? Something. A beautiful something. And would you like something to drink? Yes. Yes. I we one. have. Excuse me? And the customer, yes, I will have iced coffee. Okay, can you spell it, please? I will have. Oh, like, like this one. I'll. Like this one, right? That's what you're saying. Yes? I'll. Yeah, you're I'll, right. Exactly. I'll have iced coffee. Very good. Wonderful. Very good, Marvin. Great job. And then with the milk and sugar? Yes. With milk and sugar? Yes. What is the expression that we usually say with that one? Yes. I would like. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's just one word that we use. Yes. Right. When yes, somebody... Please. Oh, yes, very good. That is correct. Please. You're right. Okay. Yes, please. Anything else? No, thanks. No, thanks. Very good. No, thanks. And then we have dial. Dial. B? B. Oh, correct. Dial B. Dial B. Oh, yeah. So we have, may I tell you order? Yes, I'll have the salmon. What kind of dressing would you like in your salad? French, blue cheese, or vinaigrette? I like French, please. And would you like something to drink? Yes, I'll have iced coffee with milk and sugar. Yes, please. Anything else? No, thanks. That'll be all. Yes. Andrea Esmeralda Flores, you are the server. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera, you are the customer. Are you ready? Andrea Esmeralda Flores? Andrea? No. Yes, teacher. Oh, you are the server, Andrea. Okay. Yes. Okay. Diana Cristabel okay. Melendez? I am here. Wonderful, you are the customer. Okay. Ready, let's begin. May I take your order? Yes, I hold the salon. What kind of dressing would you like on your salon? Salad, French blue cheese or vanilla cream? I like French, please. And would you like something to drink? Yes, I'll have iced coffee. With meal and sugar? Yes, please. Anything else? No, that can be all. Beautiful, very good. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Gerardo, can you participate? Yes, of course. Wonderful. You're going to be the server. Your classmate is going to help you. That's going to be you, Marvin. You're going to be the customer. Ready? Let's begin. May I take your order? Yes, I will have the server. What kind of dressing would you like on your salad? French, blue, cheese, or vagina? I like you... French. Teacher, Sorry? how do you say in that word? In the last one. 
uh, vinaigrette. Uh, vinaigrette. Yes. Okay. I like French, please. And would you like some something to drink? Yes. I ice how high is coffee? With milk and sugar. Yes, please. Anything else? No thanks. That's be all. Very good. Irma Suleima, you're gonna be the server. Yep. Your partner is gonna be, let me see. Anna Isela Giannis. Anna. Okay, teacher. You're gonna be the customer, Anna. <clears throat> Ready? Let's begin. Yes, you'll have the salmon. I'd like French, please. Yes, I'll have iced coffee. Yes, please. No, thanks. That'll be all. That's beautiful. Very good. Let's continue. I have another example for you here. So be ready at home. Here we go. Here we have some like phrases, right? Like one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. What would you like? And here we have three options. I'll be your server today. Yes, I like to. Oh, Jesus. I have a beef burrito. So the correct one goes here is I'll have a beef burrito. What about the number two? Which one is number two? Would you like soup or salad? I like soup. I like soup, please. <clears throat> okay, very good. I'd like soup. And then we have a comma, right? Soup, please. Very good. Thank you. What about the number three? What would you like on your pizza? I have pepperoni. Exactly. Right. I'll have pe pepperoni. Okay, right. Thank you. Number four. Why would you? I'm oh, sorry. Would you like anything to drink? No thanks. Okay. So not thanks. I don't have money, right? Yeah. Not thanks. So I need to like. Not thanks. Thank you. What about the number three? What flavor ice cream would you like? Vanilla, please. Oh, vanilla, like vanilla ice. Yeah. Vanilla, please come. I'm sorry. Yeah. What about the number six? Would you like anything else? No, at all. Thanks. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. That's be all, thanks. That'll be all, very good. That'll be all. Oh, very good. That'll be all. Thanks. Yay, very good. Okay, participation. We're going to have a few of you. Uh, let me see. The ones that haven't done it yet. Kathy Jordana, oh, you, you, you're you just joining, right? Thank you so much for being here. Okay, we're going to have Sebastiana. You're going to read one, two, and three, Sebastiana. Your partner, which is um Catherine Nicole Salazar. Hello, Catherine. Please read number four, number five, and number six. 
Okay. Okay. Number one. What would you like? I'll have a beef burrito. Number two. Would you like soup or salad? I'd like soup, please. Number three. What would you like on your pizza? I'll have pepperoni. Would you like anything to drink? No, thank you. What? What flower ice cream will you like? Vanilla, please. Will you like anything else? Sack, be all thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Very big catch. Let's get into the next one. Here we go. Be ready at home. This one. Look at this example, right? We have choose the correct words. In parentheses, we have some vocabulary. Yes? So we need to identify what's the vocabulary over here. Yes? Baked potatoes are less greasy than French fries. Uh-huh. What about number two? In order. In a restaurant, the server takes to order. Oh, exactly. That is correct. Very good. Thank you so much. Well, let me check. Order. You order. Okay. Order. Oh, Very good. Order. What about number three? Dressing. Yeah. Oh, dressing? Okay. Yeah, dressing. Many people like dressing. Yes. Many people like dressing. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. What is the next one? Some people rarely cook with spices. The spices. Yes, spices. They prefer food to be bland. Excuse me. Spices. Oh, bland. That is correct. Bland. Okay. A strawberry is a popular ice cream. Flower. Flavor, very good. Flavor, that is correct. Yeah, you see, number. You're really proud of this one. Very good. Nice job. How do you do that? That's a piece of cake for you, right? Irma Suleima. Can you participate, Irma? Yes, Irma? Okay, Irma, read the sentences. One, two, three, four, and five, please. Ready? Let's begin. Excuse me? No, you need to read one, two, three, four, and five. Yes, sorry. Thank you so much. Very good, Irma. Okay, great job. We have flavor. A greasy, right? Baked, baked potatoes are less greasy than French fries. In a restaurant, the server takes you order. Dressing. 
Spices. Spices, right. A bunch of what are spices, by the way, Marvin? It's spicy. A spice, uh huh. A picante. Exactly right. So uh, sometimes people add different spices, right? Paprika, all the things, right? Garlic, onion, yeah, chili, yeah. So that's that's the spices, spices, right? So in Spanish it could be like espes, like, see, ¿sí? ¿cómo se le llama? Es es oh, es especies, right? Creo que sí se le llama o especias. I don't remember exactly, right? Pero son cosas like like ajo molido, right? Eh, cosas así, right? Form teacher. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is right. That is correct. Very good. Oh, I need to take the attendance. So do me a favor. When you hear your name, say present around here. Yeah. Here we go. Always the attendance. Here we here we go. Oh, okay. Ana, Isela, Janes, Angel. I'm here. I'm Thank here. you so much. You better now? Are you better now, Ana? No? Yeah, yeah. Thank um, you. I'm glad to hear that. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. Hello, Ana. Welcome. Ana? Ana. Ana Ruth? What is Ana? I think I saw Ana. Ana. Oh, Jesus. No, she isn't. Okay, I'm sorry. She's not here. What about Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez? Andrea. Yeah, teacher. Here I am. Thank you so much. Diana. <laughs> Diana Cristabel Melendez. Welcome. Present teacher. Nice. Francisco Valdomar Lopez Martinez. Oh, thank you so much, Francisco. Ya me escribió en el chat usted, right? Thank you. I got it. Gerardo José Tepas. Hey, Sanchez. I'm here. Thank you so much, Gerardo. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuella. Hello, Irma. Are you here? I think I saw Irma. Let me check that one. Yes, Irma is here. Thank you, Irma. It's nice to have you. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Francisco. Well, I'm sorry. Jose Edgardo Mendez Miranda. Thank you, Jose. Thank you so much. Let me see. No, he isn't. Sorry, he isn't here. No, no, he isn't. Okay, let me close this one really quick. Because somebody wrote in the chat. That was Robert and Francisco and also Kathy. Okay. Um, Gerardo, Jose, uh, I'm sorry, Jesus. Catherine Zuleima Pocasangre Escobar. Present. Thank you. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Kathy Jornados Cruces, welcome. It's nice to have you. Marvin Alejandro, Alejandro Landa Verde Arias. Present teacher. Good evening and welcome. Oscar Otoniel Guzmán. I'm sorry, Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Roberto Carlos Alfaro eh, Alberto. Thank you so much for being here. Present. And also Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernández. Thank you so Present. much. For being here. If I miss somebody, let me know, please. Because sometimes um I do mistakes. Okay, so I'm sorry about it. Okay, I have another exercise that is beautiful for you. Okay, let me show you really quick. Yep. Uh this one here. Do me a favor, please. Uh let me see. Diana Cristabel Melendez. Diana, look at the picture, Diana, and describe it, please. Tell me, what do you see here? What are the objects that you see here in this picture? Okay, this picture. Um, she is very blurry, and another girl is talk about it. Um, I think a uh, 
and GV pop it there with hater and What is this girl wearing? What? What, what is this girl wearing? What is she wearing? Like, like her clothes. clothes what is she? No, I mean, what is she wearing? She used uh, jeans and... Oh, she wears. Ah, uh, she wears a uh, jeans, and jeans. she wears a sweater. Sweater, probably. Okay. How, how do you say blusa in English? Shirts. No. No, I'm sorry. How do you say blusa in English? I don't remember. <laughs> Blouse. Blouse, very good, Anna. Blouse. Okay. What is the name of this object, Diana? Microwave. Microwave, very Microwave. good. And what is the name of these things here on the wall? What is the name? What is what's the name? Um, I don't know. Okay, somebody help her, please. Sometimes people call them pantry, cupboards, cabinets. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, very good. What is the kind of meal, Diana? Tell me, what is the meal these like tukers are going to have? What is the what meal? Is meal? Excuse me? What is meal? Oh, Marvin, can you help her, please? What is that? Comida. Exactly, comidas, right? So what's the kind of meal these people are going to have? I mean, if that's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I think bread. I mean, I, I mean, is that breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Oh, breakfast. Oh, breakfast. Very good. What is your favorite breakfast, Diana? I like eggs. Oh, eggs. Okay. Eggs. That's good. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Let's begin with the uh, practice here. I love this exercise. Look at this one. We're going to use this vocabulary from this chart here, and we're going to put them here. Yes? Okay, so let's begin. I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. Neither do I. Let's order out. Do you like Chinese food? It's delicious. What is the expression that goes here? What is the expression that goes in this part? I like it a lot. Oh, very good. That is correct. Yeah, we have, I like it a lot. Yes. So we have, I, like it a lot. I like it a lot. Beautiful. I like it a lot. Very good. And then we have Kearney. I do. Too. Oh, yes. I do too, right? No se le olvide que cuando diga eso tiene que hacer una pause porque hay una coma. I do too. Yes. Si lo dice rápido, pues suena different, right? Yep, so beautiful. So we have to, and also like it a lot. Okay, what is next? 
It's my favorite kind of food. Favorite kind of food, right? Kind of food. It's my favorite kind of food. Beautiful. Let's call Beijing Express for home delivery. Great idea. Their food is always good. I eat there a lot. So what is next? Oh, sorry. My bad. Well, what? Can do I? No, I'm sorry. So do I. Oh, yep. So do I. So do I. Very good. What is the next one? Well, what? Would. Would. What? Would. Very good. What would? What would you like tonight? Oh, yeah. Very good. Um, I'm in the mood for some soup. What is the so, next one? So I am. Mm, yes, we need to change. Change the pronunciation, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I. So am am i so am i very good see ¿Sí? para que se le haga un poquito más easy una la m con la i entonces por eso a veces digo so am i so am i so am i very good i think i'll yeah you nailed it beautiful I'll, I think I'll have orange chicken and fry rice. What's next? Okay, let's order. Oh, wait, don't take the credit card. I They don't take credit cards. I don't have any cash on me. Neither do. Do I? Yay, do I. that's correct. Neither do I. Neither do I. Okay. Okay, thank you. What is next? That's, oh, sorry, too bad. What should we do? Well, let's look in the refrigerator. Mm, do you like boiled eggs? Do you like boiled eggs? I can stand them. Can stand them. Very good. Can stand them. Very good. Stand them. I can stand them. Very good. And then we have actually neither can I. Neither can I. Yes. Do you have a question about vocabulary or expressions in this conversation? Everything is good. Is everything good? Yes. Yeah, I think yes, right. Okay, so uh I feel tired tonight. I really don't don't um I really don't want to cook. Neither and neither do I. Let's order it out. Let's order it out is like when we have food from a restaurant, right? So we call and we order it out. Do you like Chinese food? It's delicious. I like it a lot. I do too. It's my favorite kind of food. Let's call Beijing Express for home delivery. Great idea. Their food is always good. I eat there a lot. So do I. Well, what would you like tonight? 
I'm in the mood for some soup. So am I. I think I'll have some orange chicken and fried rice. Okay, let's order. Oh, wait, they don't take credit cards. I don't have any cash on me. Neither do I. Too bad. What should we do? Well, let's look in the refrigerator. Um, do you like boiled eggs? I can't stand them. Actually, neither can I. Sebastiana, you're going to be Maria. Marvin, you're going to be Corny. Ready? Let's begin. I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. Who is Maria? Me, Maria. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's delicious. I like it a lot. I'm sorry. Who is Maria? Oh, that's, that's Sebastiana. Yeah, you're going to be corny. Uh -huh. I remember. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm corny. Um, I do too. It's my favorite kind of food. Let's call Beijing Express for a home delivery. Great idea. Their food is always good. I ate there a lot. Of. So do I. Well, what would you like tonight? I am in the mood for some soup. So am I. And I think I'll have orange chicken and fried rice. Okay, let's order. Oh, wait. They don't take credit cards and I don't have any cash for me. Neither do I. Too bad. What should we do? Well, let's look in the refrigerator. Mm, do you like boiling eggs? I can't stand them. Actually, neither can I. That's good. That's good. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, Catherine, you're going to be Maria. Uh, Gerardo Jose, you are Courtney. Ready? Ready? Yes, teacher. Let's begin, please. Thank you. I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. Catherine Nicole Salazar, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. Um... Kearney, yes, neither. Neither. Neither do I. Let's order out. Do you like Chinese food? It's delicious. I like I like it a lot. I do too. It's my favorite kind of food. Let's call the Inn Express for home, home delivery. Did great idea. Their their food is always good. I I ate there a lot. So do I. Well, that will you like tonight? I'm in the mood for some soup. So am I. And think I'll have orange chicken and fried rice. Okay, let's order. Oh, wait. They don't take credit and I don't have any cash on me. Neither do I. Too bad. What should we do? I can't attend them. Actually, neither can I. Actually, actually, neither can I. Very good. Yes. Any question about this? Here, I love this exercise because we have a combination, okay, of of these things. Yeah. So uh, that's some somehow good. Yes. Oh, uh, if you see here, we have would, I, neither, and a little bit of a stand, right? Which is which is fantastic. Now, I would like to show you something that comes related to vocabulary. 
we've been working with vocabulary, right? Uh, a little bit. Yes, on this thing. And what is the vocabulary that we have? But pretty much it's about food. Yes, that's pretty much the vocabulary we've been working so far in this, well, in this section, let's say. Yes. Uh, how can we imp improve this one? Um. Well, it depends, right? And let me show you really quick. We're soon. Okay, here we go. Yes, vocabulary is like important in English a lot. Yes, here we have the vocabulary. We're gonna have. Let me see. Ana Isela, please, Ana, read the vocabulary that we have here. Voy a mover hacia abajo, right? Para que lea el resto y luego le regreso la second column. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Bread, chicken, chocolate, coffee, corn, chicken, curry, a spicy fish, French fry, fresh, fresh fruit, grape, hamburger, ice cream, iced tea, fresh juice, lamb, mango, Mm, mango, milk, onion soup, noodles, octopus, pasta, cheese, apple pie, pizza, potato, rice, salad, sandwich, shrimp, soda, strawberry, sushi, tea, turkey, Veggie burger. Very good. Thank you so much. We have sandwich. Sandwich. Very good. So this is the vocabulary that so far we've seen in this section, right? And my recommendation, right, is use the vocabulary in sentences. Yes. So you can practice the vocabulary and also the grammar structure, for example, Give me an example with bread. Anybody? I an... will I will eat bread tomorrow I'll... morning. Okay. Okay. I have eggs. Oh Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. For breakfast, right? Yeah, you're right. Yes. I have eggs for breakfast. Very good. Yeah, so here you have the vocabulary and also here you have the grammar structure. What about chicken? Any Anybody to give me a sentence? Mm -hmm. A sentence with chicken. Okay. I will have a fried chicken. Okay, very good. I'll have fried chicken. Exactly, right? Yeah, so? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll have fried chicken. Yeah, pinulito or el don, right? Don pollo. Very good, yes. So I'll have fried chicken. And then also we can make like different sentence with this vocabulary. Yes. So my suggestion is when it comes to vocabulary, keep practicing because that thing helps us a lot. For example, here with food, no tenemos everything about food, right? Yes. Aquí no están los, uh, el vocabulary de la cocina. No, we don't have all the restaurants. Yes. So we just have a little bit of everything, yes? Right? So my recommendation is learn this basic thing, right? Que es un strawberry? Que es un sushi? What is a, a, I don't know, a shrimp? What is pie? Uh, what are tomatoes, right? Yes. Yes. So, so you practice this one so you can improve 
your vocabulary. So when you go to El Puerto de la Libertad, right? So you can say, oh, I need a mariscara, right? Yes, I'll have a mariscara or I'll like a mariscara soup, please, right? And you can say, oh, in the mariscara, we can find what kind of fish we can find in a mariscada? Uh-huh. Yes? What kind of uh, uh, fish do we find in a mariscada? Yes? Uh-huh. When you go to El Puerto, right? And you... Uh, and you all and you order a mariscara, yes. What is what what fish do you have in the mariscara? Uh huh. The first one is fish, octopus. right? Octopus. Octopus. Very good. Or what else? Shrimp. 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 That is correct. Mm -hmm. Lobster. Uh, sometimes we have lobster, but but nowadays. Um, yeah, I, I don't see laughter because <laughs> I went last weekend and you know, I lost it, right? So it's just ring. <laughs> yes. Traté de buscar la lobster, but nothing. No había. Ni, ni, ni la mitad, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, but sometimes we have lobster. Very good. What else? I don't know. The pronunciation is okay. Crab. Crab. Very Grav. good. Crab. Right. Crab. Very good. Uh huh, and also they sometimes they use clam. Clam, very good. Yeah, All right. So, practice the vocabulary when you have the time. We're gonna have some extra vocabulary here. What about healthy? What is the vocabulary that goes with healthy food? We have a salad. What else? Fruit. Oh, fruit. Very good. What else? Vegetable. Your favorite. Very good. Vegetables. Oh my gosh. Vegetables. Very good. Right. What about greasy? Something greasy that you can say, oh, this thing is French greasy. fries. Oh, French fries. Very good. Right. Delicious, but not nutritious. French fries. Chicken Very fry. good. Chicken fries. Fry. Excuse me? <laughs> Chicken fries. Oh, fried chicken. Fried chicken, very good. Hog dog? Hog dogs, right, Choris. Exactly, that's correct. Yeah, hog dogs. Hamburger. Oh, hamburgers, very good. Tortas, tacos, okay. Yes. Hamburgers, very good. Uh, what about with bland? Bland food. Vegetable. Uh, like a potato, for example. Well, when it comes Pas with pasta, pasta, very good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What happened with bland food? Se refiere a las que no necesitan muchos, muchos, um, ¿cómo se llama? Es, es, spices, muchos spices, muchos uh, condimentos. Right. Yeah. That is bread. Good. Also bread. Very good. Right. Solo salita and levadura. Right. Bread. Hells. Excuse me. Hells. How do you spell that? A huevo. Oh, eggs. Hell, very good. Egg. Eggs. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's wrong. But... Sure. Oh, milk. Probably, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. milk, we can have it there. And with delicious, what about with delicious? Ice cream. <laughs> cake. Okay, cake. <laughs> or that cake bag with rich. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Pudding. Pudding. 
Okay, very good. How do you write pudding, by the way? I think it's like this one, right? Pudding. I guess so. Because I don't remember. Do you know how to write that one? Pudding. Pudding. Oh, yes. I think it's with not, not letter G, right? Pudding. Very good. Yes. So this is the way we can classify some food. Yes. That means vocabulary, so you can practice as well. I'm sorry because the time is over. Don't forget that you need to rest. Be nice and be kind. And we will see you next class on Monday. Yeah, on Thank Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Enjoy weekend. your weekend. Bye. Bye. Good night. Take care, everybody. And be nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night.